We're going to talk about fitness now. Planet Fitness reporting earnings yesterday after the bell. The company missed slightly on earnings per share by two cents, but did see a beat on revenue, according to Refinitiv. Now, the big question is whether the Delta variant and new local vaccine mandates could put a dent in the company's bottom line. Joining us in a CNBC exclusive, closing bell exclusive, is Planet Fitness CEO Chris Rondo. Chris, great to speak with you. And on the heels of earnings, and we did mention that EPS miss, but... Membership continues to grow. What are you seeing, whether it's at company-owned gyms or at the ones that are uh, owned by franchisees right now? Yeah, first, thanks for having me on today. We're, uh, I could not be more excited with how business is performing. Our growth is, we've seen growth this, this year that we've never seen, especially this time of year. You know, normally the gym industry grows a lot during the winter months, first quarter, and this time of year we start to tail off. We've seen really unseasonable growth. Our, our first second quarter, our second quarter growth was double 2019, second quarter, and even July was double July 2019. So the, the curve has changed and seasonality has changed. So we couldn't be happier. We're already back to 15 million members. Um, we were down to a low of 13.5 million in the fourth quarter, and we're already back to 15, and our height was 15.5. So we're only 500,000 away. So we're we got a lot of traction. I could be more happier. Yeah, I mean we're seeing some places like New York City, for example, uh, mandate vaccines for folks that are going inside of gyms. Uh, we're also seeing some companies mandate vaccines as well. How are you navigating all of that? What what kind of strategy are you putting in place? Yeah, naturally, we follow local guidelines here in the state of New York. That's one of them. We have about um, 150 clubs today that have mask mandates of some sort. Um, in the past, we haven't seen any change in really member behavior with the mask mandates and not seeing it today. You know, the vaccine card will be something different. Um, hopefully, it's short-lived. You know, we all know that um, a lot of the, um, unfortunately, the illness that, that led from COVID-19 and, unfortunately, hospitalizations with people that were out of shape or, or, or had pre-existing conditions. So fitness is really essential. So hopefully it's a short-lived and everybody can get in and work out again. Um, you know, 70% of the U.S. was overweight going into COVID, and 40% of adults put on an average of 29 pounds during COVID. Imagine that, right? So, you know, it's really about getting people off the couch and making them healthier so that they can fight this or any illness that comes along. Chris, those numbers you mentioned on membership, uh, quite, quite impressive, adding 700,000 to, to a total of 14.8 uh, million, only 500,000, I think you just said, from, from the prior peak. Uh, th though it is also painting a picture of quite, quite a lot of volatility in some big numbers when it comes to membership. Do, do you think that volatility is just a pandemic uh, effect and that get through another year, you're going to have a more steady, uh, smaller growth quarter on quarter, or is it kind of to be expected uh, uh, as a norm for you long term? Yeah, well, a good question. You know, the big question is, do we go back to the normal trends that we normally see? But, you know, what we what I believe is that coming out of COVID, um, unfortunately, it's flushed out a lot of a lot of the issues that that again, back to 70 percent of the U.S. being overweight or, or obese, that um, and only 20 percent of the U.S. even has a gym membership. Right. That's the crux of the problem right there. I think people are going to appreciate health and fitness more than ever. I think there's a fitness boom coming down the pike here for the entire industry. Um, unfortunately, 22 percent of the gyms in the country have closed permanently because of COVID. So now there's less less doors for people to work out in. So um, but with Planet Fitness is a $10 price point and we're in every major uh, DMA in the country, all 50 states that we're in everybody's neighborhood and backyard that we're right for the to take advantage of these uh, these times right now.